let us study one important heteronuclear polar linear molecule hydrogen chloride chlorine is more electronegative than the hydrogen therefore chlorine governs the negative charge partial negative charge that's a simple explanation that we provide and if on the ground of molecular orbital theory if we need to explain then we should consider interaction between 1s orbital of hydrogen with 3p orbital of chlorine as well as 3s orbital of chlorine because symmetry considerations and energy levels energy gaps do permit us so that we can explain the polar nature of the chlorine major electrons will belong to the chlorine atom see the video till end let us discuss now hcl molecule linear heteronuclear diatomic molecule in hcl molecule two different atoms are there one hydrogen and other chlorine electronic configuration if i have to write then for hydrogen 1s orbital but its energy minus 13.6 electron volt if i consider the mo diagram left compartment atomic orbitals of hydrogen middle compartment molecular orbitals of hcl molecule and right compartment atomic orbitals of chlorine if i consider other atoms say chlorine its electronic configuration atomic number is 17 so electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 outer orbitals if i have to consider 3s and 3p energy of 3p orbital of chlorine is minus 13.7 electron volt so for hydrogen 13.6 and here it is a 13.7 so it is a very nearly same energy now if i consider inner orbital of chlorine 3s orbital so energy of 3s orbital of chlorine is minus 25.3 electron volt so compared to minus 13.6 almost 12 electron volt the difference will do 2p orbital non bonding 2s orbital non bonding 1s orbital already i said that will remain the non bonding so while labeling how s orbital has which symmetry sigma kind of the symmetry and p orbitals have double sets one sigma means to px orbital bonding axis and other non bonding p orbitals means pi set so how can i label them for one s orbital of chlorine one sigma for two s orbital of chlorine two sigma for two p orbital of chlorine three sigma and one pi are you following for two px i'll say three sigma and for 2py and 2pz i'll say 1 pi first set of pi orbitals electronic configuration 1 sigma 2 2 sigma 2 3 sigma 2 1 pi 4 4 sigma 2 5 sigma 2 2 pi 4 and last 6 sigma star 0 what is the bond order number of electrons in bonding orbitals minus number of electrons in anti bonding orbitals divided by 2 how many electrons are in bonding orbitals only 2 Anti bonding orbitals zero. Two minus zero divided by two. Answer is one. So between hydrogen and chlorine in HCl molecule, there is only one bond. What about magnetic property? It will be diamagnetic because no any unpaired electron. Non bonding orbitals are there in the molecule, so I need to represent all the molecule. So students, considering all the orbitals and following the Mollikan's notation. nomenclature and filling the electrons in molecular orbitals are informed to you let us understand the concept of molecular orbital formation of hcl molecule more systematically point group of this heteronuclear diatomic molecule is c infinity v what does it mean there is a c infinity axis and vertical planes are there but if we have to talk about the interaction between s orbital of one atom and p orbital of other sp interaction then there should not be horizontal plane or center of inversion and it is true here that in c infinity v point group such horizontal plane or center of inversion is not there means 3s orbital of chlorine can interact with 1s orbital of hydrogen as well as 3p orbital of chlorine 
also can interact with oneness orbital of hydrogen among 3p which orbital is more suitable 3p x orbital bonding axis orbital so interaction between 3s 3p and 1s that we need to consider it will be more clear by paying attention towards energetics oneness orbital of hydrogen and 3s orbital of chlorine are hardly separated by 12 electron hold energetically they are suitable to interact and about 3p orbital there is a no question nearly same energy so it also will interact but among 3p 3p x orbital is going to interact therefore i said there by orbital symmetry point of view and energy point of view 3s and 3p x orbitals of chlorine are suitable to interact with 1s orbital of hydrogen remaining orbitals of chlorine will remain non bonding e1 3p y and 3p z orbitals also will remain non bonding with this basic idea about energetics and symmetry possible orbitals which can interact let us see the mo diagram for hcl molecule see here three compartments left compartment atomic orbital of hydrogen middle one molecular orbitals of molecule hcl and right compartment atomic orbitals of chlorine as i informed to you 3s orbital of chlorine and 3px orbital of chlorine are suitable to interact with 1s orbital of hydrogen from both means symmetry as well as energy for the sake of simplicity i represented one electron in 3px orbital of the chlorine Since as per valence bond theory we say you know one electron present in one orbital will interact with one electron present in other orbital and pairing occurs bond formation occurs in molecular orbital point of view first formation of wave functions molecular orbitals then there remains a distribution of the electrons because of one electron they are combining not likewise symmetry is important for us molecule is impartial about the electron from where it came only molecule knows to feel the electrons in its molecular orbitals so those two orbitals from chlorine 3s and 3px will interact with one orbital from hydrogen 1s to produce three molecular orbitals those are shown by blue color lowest orbital 4 sigma orbital middle orbital 5 sigma and extreme higher level orbital 6 sigma star now 4 sigma y label came because below that energetically orbitals of chlorine which are non bonding are there means 1 sigma orbital of chlorine 2 sigma 3 sigma and now it is 4 sigma which orbitals are with sigma characteristics i told you in this video only before few minutes so now the number for this orbital is 4 sigma lowest orbital is 4 sigma now see the nature of this orbital this 4 sigma orbital is lower in energy than all atomic orbitals combining so what is its nature bonding anti bonding non bonding of course bonding orbital now come to the next orbital five sigma orbital that five sigma orbital is lower in energy to 1s and 3p but is higher in energy to 3s means five sigma has bonding characteristic due to 1s and 3px but anti bonding characteristic due to 3s so it has mixed characteristic and due to mixed characteristic extent of characteristic is also important it is nearly non bonding which orbital five sigma orbital is nearly non bonding so for bond formation its role is less now six sigma star orbital 
which is higher in energy than 1s and 3px as well as 3s. So beyond doubt, it is anti-bonding orbital. Now come to the pi orbital formation. 3p orbitals out of that 3px is involved in the sigma bonding. 3py and 3pz has no suitable match. So there will not be any formation of bonding or anti-bonding orbital. So they will remain non-bonding as where the orbitals of chlorine, other orbitals 2p, 2s, 1s orbitals were non-bonding. Likewise 3py and 3pz orbitals will remain non-bonding. Now it is a time to distribute the electrons. Only I talk about electrons present in 1s orbital of hydrogen and 3s and 3p orbitals of chlorine. Total number of electrons present there are 8. First two electrons will enter in 4 sigma orbitals. They will be in the pairing fashion. Next two electrons in 5 sigma. And next four electrons in 2 pi orbitals. That's the electronic distribution. Molecular orbitals, if we arrange energetically, then all the electrons present in the molecule due to atomic orbitals will be filled there. Now, very important thing. Why I give emphasis on the interaction of 3s orbital with 1s? See, suppose only 3p orbital of chlorine would have been there. Energetically, 1s and 3p are not differing. So whatever the bonding orbital will form, both will share equally. If equal share is there to the bonding pair, then polarity, charge separation in HCl molecule should not be there. But in true sense what? Chlorine is more electronegative, so chlorine governs or bears partial negative charge. That is the reality. But if we consider only 3p orbitals interaction, with 1s orbital, we are unable to explain. So whatever the MO diagram is in front of you is a very suitable MO diagram which can explain the polarity present in the molecule. How? See, due to 3s orbital, the 4 sigma orbital becomes the bonding orbital and 5 sigma become the non-bonding orbital. So whatever the electrons are present in 4 sigma which are mainly responsible for bond formation just answer for my question to whom they belong more to chlorine or to hydrogen of course to chlorine yes that is the reason why chlorine governs partial negative charge because of the sharing more to the bonded pair chlorine bears the partial negative charge and that property of chlorine can only and only be explained by this MO diagram. If you want to refer, you can refer Asim K. Das. See the electronic distribution. 1 sigma means it's a 1s orbital of the chlorine, 2 electrons. 2 sigma, 2s orbital of chlorine, 2 electrons. 3 sigma, 2px orbital of chlorine, 2 electrons. 1 pi, 2py and 2pz orbitals of chlorine, 4 electrons. Up to here, all orbitals are non-bonding. Now 4 sigma, that's the first bonding orbital, 2 electrons. 5 sigma, due to mixed characteristic, it is nearly bonding, 2 electrons. And 2 pi set, it is due to 3py and 3pz orbitals of chlorine. It is non-bonding, has 4 electrons and last 6 sigma star no electrons. What is the formula to find bond order? Number of electrons in bonding orbitals nb minus number of electrons in anti-bonding orbitals na divided by 2. 2 electrons are there in 4 sigma orbital and in anti-bonding that is only one orbital anti-bonding 6 sigma star no electrons. So 2 minus 0 divided by 2. Answer is 1. Since there is a no any unpaid electron available or all electrons are paired, this HCl molecule is diamagnetic in nature. And it is a practical reality. As a homework, question is lengthy but answer is very short. 
While discussing MO diagram, I involve three s orbital. Suppose if that three s orbital we would have not been involved for molecular orbital formation, means only three p x orbital of chlorine and one s orbital of hydrogen. We could able to explain bond order. We could able to explain magnetic property. But one property of HCl we could have not been able to explain. So what that reality we could not be able to explain if we would have not been considered 3s orbital for interaction. I hope question is clear. I am waiting for your answer in comment box. Yeah.